Hey, how you guys doing? Today I'm going to show you how to check the gas pressure coming in into the gas valve and how to check the pressure coming out of the gas valve, which we call the, the manifold pipe. Okay, so we're going to use a couple of tools. Uh, first, we're going to need a uh, digital manometer. Okay, and also we're going to need a plastic hose and a connector for the gas valve. And also we're going to use the surface wrench with the hex tool. Okay. And of course, you gotta make sure you got you have gas and then also a furnace, right? So the first step for um, checking the gas pressure, first make sure you have this uh, valve closed. Make sure this is 100% closed. Second step is to grab your service wrench, and what you're gonna do is you can remove a cap. There should be a cap right before the gas coming in, and also there should be a cap right after the gas valve or after the gas comes out. By the way, this is called the manifold and that's the cap to check the pressure coming out. There's a cap to check the pressure coming in. So the first thing we're going to do is use the service wrench. Make sure you put it all the way inside and um, you're going to do counterclockwise to remove that cap clockwise make sure you, with your finger hold down the service wrench so this way you get a good connection and it doesn't um, damage the, the cap okay if you want you can take the service wrench off from the hex tool and then just remove the cap cool so there it is all right make sure you, s you put this back in the service wrench do not lose that cap. You're just gonna put it up here. All right. The next step is to grab the connector on your digital manometer. Remove this brass connector and put it into the connection at the gas valve and tighten it. Okay. Uh, when you tighten it, um, just just hand tighten. You don't have to wrench it. You know, just checking the gas pressure, right? Now the next step is to grab your digital manometer and connect the end of the hose into the connection, the special connector. Okay, as you can see, it's giving you some numbers. Don't worry about that. We're gonna reset that once we open the gas. Okay. Now let's put the meter right here. Let's open the gas, the, the main valve gas. Open position. And let's go back into here into the meter now showing us 17.5 uh, water columns and what I always like to do on digital manometers I need I always like to pull out once I have gas inside the hose I like to pull it out and look at the meter if you can just press zero and you can see I'm holding with my fingers the hose so the gas doesn't come out and then as I'm putting them on and make the connection and there you go. We have seven water columns. Do you remember at the beginning was 17? So either it might be air or something wrong with meter. But so far right now I'm getting seven water columns, and that's what it's supposed to be here at, at school. Okay. Now this is the pressure, the gas pressure coming in. All right. The minimum should be five, but um, you know at least we got 7.50. So now we're done. So when you're done with checking the gas pressure coming in, the first thing you gotta do is close the main valve, close it, then coming back over here, and now you can disconnect the hose. You can put the meter on top of the furnace, remove the brass connector. Okay, oops. And now, very important, remember to put the cap back on into the gas valve. Very important. Yeah, don't don't walk away with this with this cap off from the furnace because there will be a fire. And uh, yeah, you don't want that. So make sure you put it on. Now you gotta use your service wrench to tighten in the, the cap. And now you're going clockwise to tight. Now this is just a little bit tight, not too tight. I mean you don't need to put the full hand, just two fingers tight. Something like that. That should be good. Okay, that 
happens. Let me get that. Cool. Now, we're going to check the gas pressure coming out, or what they call the manifold pressure, okay? To check the manifold pressure, um, it is kind of important that you also have your gas closed. I mean, if you had it open, nothing should happen. But because of safety, let's just keep that closed. And now, we're going to remove the cap and the other side of the gas valve. So there should be another cap. Okay, I loosen up the cap, remove the wrench, if you, if you like to do it this way. And I use the fingers to remove the whole cap. There you go. Now, make sure you don't lose this. Now, I'll bring the special connector once again. Put it on it. Special brass connector to the gas valve. Make sure it's a little bit tight, finger tight. Then, bring your gas meter. Connect it back in here. There you go. And it's ready to go. But now, on this step, in order to get the pressure going to the manifold, you gotta call for heat. So let's put the meter over here and gotta make sure you call for heat, which is gonna be red and white wire. Alright, now you gotta turn it on and oh, almost forget something. Make sure you open the gas, turn the furnace on, right here. Make sure you cover the heat. And the furnace should be coming on. It's going to go through a sequence of operation. Thermostat, induction motor, induction motor, safeties, roll out switches, limit switch up there. And it should start any second, okay? It takes about 10, 10, 11 seconds. Just wait for that flame. There you go. You hear the spark. The burner's on. And now let's check the gas pressure. And my gas pressure is four water columns. Okay? Once again, I can what I like to do is um, remove the connection. Make sure it's zero and connect it back. This is what I normally like to do. It went down a little bit. Normally the gas pressure going to the manifold is 3.5. We got 3.9, so we can probably adjust it. But that's gonna be a different video. This is just how to check the pressure in and out of the gas valve. Okay? Now we are done. So the first thing you gotta do is remove the wires from the thermostat. Make sure you're not calling for heat. There you go. Once you're not calling for heat, the burner goes off and the blow motor keeps running because it needs to cool down the heat exchanger. And you're supposed to wait until everything cools off and shut up the system. Okay? What I can do is just close the gas. Close the gas into the furnace. And then we can just let it run in to, to cool down the heat exchanger. And now we can remove the plastic hose. Take up the special connector off. And make sure you what? You put the cap on. If you want to put some Teflon, just a little bit of Teflon, that's fine. It does uh, give it extra leak free. And then we put the service wrench and make it tight. Now, not super tight, you know, but something like that. It should be fine. Not super tight. And that's it, guys. This is how you check the pressure coming in and out. Next time we make a video, how will you adjust the gas pressure? Okay? Take care.